What is up guys, Dolphins and Gaming here. We're back with another video and this video is going to be extremely different. This is not a game gameplay, this is more like a tutorial video on how to play Terminal Railways for people that are new. A lot of things are going on. Uh, we just hit 4 million visits because it got featured on Roblox, so that's good. It's going to bring us more business to us in Terminal Railways. Um, who are you talking to? Dude, I'm talking to myself. I'm actually making a video. What do you think I'm doing? Okay, anyways, whatever. It was chat. <laughs> I was just joking down there. Anyways, so first things first is that when you spawn, you spawn facing that way to the cars. And the first thing you should do is read. There's two menus. First of all, this one just tells you how to spawn a train. And this one tells you on... How to I mean this one just tells you the server age the server status so this is this is how you play so first of all it says use the menu on the left of your screen to teleport to train stations it, it doesn't teleport you to depots this is outdated build update this now anyways um, you can also use a car to get around there are parked right outside now first things first with the cars when you spawn a car Wait about 10 seconds. You're gonna see it touch the floor. You see how it's just kind of floating a bit? Now just wait about 10 seconds and then you see how it just went down? You, that that means it's good to go. And this dude tried to this girl tried to stone my car. What the hell? What? Anyways, that's how you do cars, cause we had issues with cars, so that's Roblox and so. And what is this person doing on the floor? Hello, let's run you over. Beep 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 beep. Ah, uh, he died. Anyway, so you can drive cars around. There's a person over here. You can help people out by going to places. Let's help this person out. Get in the car. Okay, good. You're in the car. So, so this is the main... Bruh. <laughs> yes, you can flip cars. Anyway, so we're arriving at the first station. This is how you, this is how you use cars. You use the normal WASD keys. Then, if you jump out of it, it will automatically respawn. This is your first state. Well, not your first station. This is like the central station in Terminal Railways. La 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 la. Anyway, so to spawn a train, use the menu on your left. You can also hide it, which is not hidden. Um, use the menu on your left, spawn the train, click that. Now you have a you have a variety of nine different countries or nine different countries of trains you can choose. Now if you're talking about free trains, you might want to check out the Netherlands. Those trains are free. Why? Because originally this game started out as the Netherlands um, rail transportation, the Dutch railways. So I'm guessing that's why they're free pretty much. Like this one, this is all Dutch. Which is like kind of original to this game. This is what it was meant to be. Now, Twin World Group uh, is currently working on Dutch only railway game, which I believe will. And the good thing is, they will include T Drive 3.1 or 4.2. I will show you guys on the pictures on the left and right screen just to compare which one it is. We are currently on 5.0, which is the new UI. I honestly kind of don't like the new UI. Or the controller, but anyways, so the free trains are like these Netherlands. So we're gonna spawn the ICM. All of these are 90, 95% free. Uh, other ones you gotta pay because obviously just like bullet trains. So I mean that's they're cheap. They're cheap. Very cheap. The only not so cheap, well, it's still cheap, but it's like two bucks and fifty cents. That's not bad. Two dollars and fifty cents, that's pretty good. And then you got like these like 50, 60 cent trains, not bad. I mean, it's, they're cheap, they're cheap. Come on, guys, don't don't even argue. This is the reason why I'm making this video to help you guys out. So, you're gonna spawn a train, you hit two, and you got four different depots to spawn. You got Northwell, Edwardshire, Lindshire, and Roslyn. You got all of these four, you can also go back. Now the only downside is there's no cancel or back button if you select if you want to select a different train. 
a different train. So you want to go ahead and select um, the track number, which is one or two. Some of them have three or four. And then the first thing you want to do is jump on the train, on the cab. Now you may be wondering how am I switching sides? That's easy. You click seat, you click the seat button, and you can actually switch um, train ends. Or you can click C, because a lot of people get off the train and run to the front, and that's going to waste your time. So lucky, I'm showing you guys the hotkeys right now. For the horn, you click H. And for the bell, you click B, but not all trains have a bell, so it's kind of, it's supposed to be right here. And if you click the letter V for view, that will actually change your camera from following to just to um, a still position. That's its default. If you click V, this is gonna follow it, which is camera angle. And there was another camera angle, but for some reason it wasn't there. We also got the um, FOV view that's good and of course you got flashlight in the boom box if you purchase it separately the only downside about the boom box is that other players can no longer hear your music uh, but that's all right now let's talk about um, speed for a little bit or junctions first so if you see, you see this you might see these little red boxes everywhere these little red squares uh, you don't have to worry about them these are actually junctions you can actually manually switch them if your train is under 200 kilometers an hour and is trying to go to the high speed line, let me show you guys the map. See this green long line? That's the high speed line. If you try to go on it, that is going to automatically switch back to where you're supposed to go. Why? Because your train is not high speed. It has to go 200 kilometers an hour or greater to actually be acceptable. In this case, my train is 460 kilometers because I speed boosted and paid for it. So that get so that gets me access to the high speed line. Now to get passengers, it it's so laggy. Yes, it's not laggy, guys. You see my frames is averaging 60. Uh, that's on uh, you guys. If it's laggy, that's your fault. That's your computer. That's your Wi-Fi. You must need good Wi-Fi and a great PC. I'm running a Mac right now, so it's an old Mac. So to get passengers, obviously stop at your station and make sure your train fully fits the platform because if you don't and if you're over here and your train is like if you stop like right here and your train is sticking out someone can come in and actually switch the junction and you're more likely to derail and then you're likely to get angry so that's your fault if you don't go all the way to the end and for this station you can either um, you can either stop here because this is platform 1B and you got platform 1A over here. Now how do I know if my passengers are on the train? You got you got the name of every station right here at the bottom left corner. You got the name on the station and you got your passenger numbers that have to go to that station. So right now people that have to go to Northwell are, seven, are 17. We're at Northwell so that doesn't matter. And then we can just start accelerating. By the way, you guys also have gear if you want to drive backwards, so that's alright. Uh, but that that we, you're not gonna drive backwards. So let's go ahead and start driving. And your this train goes at a regular speed of 160 kilometers an hour max. But like I said, I upgraded my train a lot, so it goes 460 kilometers an hour. So it's alright. See, you can already tell it broke the um, regular speed limit. Now, another thing is um, cars. Now, you know how I was driving the car earlier? Do not drive them on tracks. You can actually get banned for it. That's like part of a rule in twin rail, but it's not listed. So you kind of have to know the rules on your own. This is like, this is on you. We're not responsible. You're responsible for your own, which is true. Another thing is you see how I also switch the junctions manually. Do not troll. That can also get you banned. Like right now, if, if I try to switch it and the player is approaching it and I switch it while they're on it and they derail, you could get banned for that. As you can see, we're actually over the speed limit. They didn't mean to do that, but just meant to show you what the high speed line looks like. You also got E brake, emergency brake. Just click E or press the button over here. And we're just arrived to we're just about to arrive at that station. Slow down. Make sure. Well, if you guys are new, recognize the map first. 
And if you're going fast, slow down before the next speed limit. That's how it works. Your speed, if you if you don't know your speed limit, check on the bottom left corner. It's right here. And here we guys, Roslyn. How many passengers do we have that have to go to Roslyn? Ah, uh, nobody yet. Nobody's here yet. So you're just gonna simply stop here. Wait for passengers to board automatically. Okay, there we go. Now, for those of you who are wondering, well, I did not open doors. That is true. The ICMM can only open doors because this was the test subject to actually try out doors for Terminal Railways back, back, back then. So trains do not open doors. It does. It may cause a bit of lag. I'll show you guys in a second. See if the glitch. Yeah, they're not glitching anymore. <laughs> Anyways. That's pretty much it. Um, what else? Signals. Make sure you guys follow signals. And this is. And if you're planning to buy an uh, actual train for Robux. If I were you guys, don't buy the Inner City Express 3. It derails too easily. It wasn't even fixed for two years. So I think it's going to get fixed. Don't buy the, if you guys are really picky, don't buy the Japan JR700, it derails easily, it is decoupling um, script. And another train that derails easily at full speed is the Acela Express, it derails easily, even at going at full speed, and or going at below speed. So if you guys don't feel sure, just be more proud of yourself of joining the Netherlands. And let me show you guys an actual, the actual TGB here. Again, you can spawn in on any depot, like right here, and then you just go straight to the cab. And some trains do have seats, like the TGB. Your, these are your seats. That's your seats. Now, trains do not have seats, most of them. So, this one does. So do not go to the power car. If it has windows like these, you're more, they're likely to be seats. So to get on the seat, you go through the train. Just jump through the train. Don't even wait for the doors to open because this is not like a real train. So this is like, um, yeah. Now you guys, there's an argument, so just ignore it. I couldn't help myself reading the chat because it's hilarious. Hello, uh, this is me on YouTube on how to play TR. Come in a railway, XDDDD. So that's arguments, this is so hilarious. A rob okay, you need, and it says, you see this kid? It says you need to be older than 10 to play Roblox. Wrong. You need, there's eight, well, if I were you, I would put age limit on the game. To play Roblox, yeah, not the new people. Not the new people. <laughs> we get complaints every second. We get complaints every second, so that is true. We, we get complaints in the group wall. On the group wall, on the group wall, on Twitter, well, not really, and mostly on the game. That is true. The other day, I did saw like a hell of a spam of complaints. Like, how do I buy this? How do I spawn a train? <laughs> so just be chilled about it. That's the reason why I'm making a video. And that's the reason why I'm making rolling on whatever, I don't know. Rolling on a floor or whatever. Anyway. So as you can see, the speed limit is 140. It dropped down from 200 kilometers. And your total passengers, like how much you delivered in total, will be here next to your um, next to the game list. And then just fully fit your train, you're good to go. Very simple to play, Terminal Railways. Drive trains. Um, I, I don't. 
Yeah, you can roleplay. I'm not a roleplay person, but oh well. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's also first person view. Now, not all trains have first person view like this. You can also do that. That's not a problem. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys found this video useful. Very easy to play. I'm not sure build into trains with the twin road group. We'll link this to their to um, their shout out or something. But hopefully they do because we get complaints, a numerous of complaints every day. So don't complain about why trains are expensive. They're not expensive, they're cheap. Come on guys. Hello TGVG Plex. Hello NS1200. Hello Cell Express. Anyways, so hope you guys found this useful. So you can go ahead and play Terminal Railways, or if you don't know how to play, you just watch this video. Hope you guys found this useful. Very simple to play. And goodbye.